Okay, so this is the long overdue follow-up video of my homemade steel front triangle downhill bike. So if you haven't checked out the first part, I highly recommend you do it. But basically what went wrong was that I had the head tube angle way too steep. And so in this video, I'm going to fix that and then finish the frame. And then I'm going to go ride this bike. So first off, I'm just going to cut off the old head tube and then clean up the down tube and the top tube. Okay, so now I have the new head tube inside the forks and I have this uh, really nice setup with just uh, the chair and what I will do now is I will, you see the gap here because it was uh, steeper and I will need to slacken it this out so I need to cut off a bit of this so now the, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this like this in uh, this angle because it's the right angle I would just slowly make this fit nicely into here and also make it, uh, it's a bit to the left right now, so I would make it centered as well. So now that the fitment between the head tube, top tube and down tube is sorted out, I'm gonna start tacking on the head tube to the rest of the frame whilst the head tube is inside of the forks and the bike is stood on the ground so I can double check the angles and make sure that everything lines up correctly. And after I've done this, I'm going to start fully welding the frame. Now that the head tube is fully welded, I will start fabricating very large gussets to make up for my poor welding skills. The gussets will sit between the head tube, top tube and down tube to add extra strength and not make the frame snap when I ride it. With the abnormally large gussets fully welded, the structure of the frame is now complete and it's time to worry about the looks. So for this I went with a forest green color and once it's dried I'm gonna assemble the bike and then it's ready to ride.
Alright, so that is the bike done. And as you can tell, none of the colors actually match and I don't have a chain. So the reason for both of these things are because I'm too lazy. But enough talking, let's go ride this thing and see how it feels. After a quick pre-break, we go again. No chain. Line choice is not my expertise. A oh. little bit outside, inside wall. All right, so I have actually ridden this bike for about five full bike park days. And I gotta say, it feels very good on the rough downhill stuff. And not as good on the jumps, although it jumps quite well. But the weight is kind of an issue. It weighs quite a lot, almost uh, 22 kilograms, I think. And the reason for that is obviously the very heavy, robust steel frame. But also I'm running a coil fork and a coil rear shock, which adds a lot of weight. Like the triple eights themselves are eight pounds, almost like four kilograms. Uh, but overall, I'm surprised how good it feels. And I'm definitely gonna build another frame. Probably gonna try to build a whole new bike frame with my own design. Uh, I'm working on that right now, so stay tuned. And. To give you guys a full breakdown of the rig, it's a originally a Kona Operator 2018 rear triangle and I tried to mimic everything of the Kona Operator front triangle so it's I think it's supposed to have 200 millimeters rear travel, I don't know what it actually have has but it has a Marsucci Bomber triple eight fork and a 27 and a half front wheel and a 26 rear wheel so it's a mini mullet and then I'm running very short 155 millimeter BMX cranks and then no chain obviously and then a quite wide I think like 790 millimeter race face downhill bar so it's very downhill inspired and overall it feels good and it has inspired me a lot to build more and experiment more with bikes so i would highly recommend trying to build your own steel bike frame 